got this, honey. I got this. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna find a place. You're fired. Next call, please. <laughs> <laughs> The first time I watched the Rocky Horror Picture Show, I thought I was in church. I was about 12 years old in the living room at my grandparents' house as it came on MTV, just as Frank and Frederick was making Brad have his own kind of awakening. I'm pretty sure this awakened my soul. I wouldn't let anyone change the channel. I had to know what was going to happen next. I had so many questions that I was frankly too embarrassed to ask. Like, why is this man wearing lingerie? Why am I strangely okay with it? Why <laughs> do I care about this Dr. Flint and River so much when Rip Rap and Magenta were in their space age lingerie get ups and he was about to get shot with the laser guns? Why did no one understand this fucked up, just how sad he was? Why did nobody care? Why was no one else as heartbroken when Rocky was trying to escape by carrying him? Of the radio transmitter middle tag ladder thing. Why was I getting so emotionally attached to this character? I was only 12, but I swear in those 45 minutes of the movie that I saw, I cared more about a transsexual alien slash crazy scientist slash in a man's body type thing than I've ever cared about anyone else in life or in fiction. She hung the moon on shore of it. 
because she was as beautiful as the moon. I was 15, and more than anything in the world, I wanted to be like her. She was a woman forever unhappy with her weight. She was the moon. She asked me to be her lift and nanny for her three boys, all with either ADD or ADHD. She was the moon. She went to kiss her boys goodnight at her ex-husband's house. She was the moon. She came home crying and locked herself in her room. She wouldn't stop and talk to me. What would a 15-year-old know about such things? She was the moon. She took up all those sleeping pills as I tried to shake off the feeling that something bad was going to happen. She was the moon. She was the moon. She was the moon. Like the moon, she'd always have a part of herself that was hidden from you. I still tell myself she's with the moon. Uh -huh.